I show this video to students because I think it's important that you understand that you have uh, in the future some control over the shape of the components that go into the buildings we make. So this is an aluminum billet being put into a machine where it's going to be heated and extruded out in order to create a shape. So here that heated ingot now comes out. It'll get transferred over to the machine that's like a Play-Doh uh, Play machine that will then extrude that shape out. There it is coming up into position. And it's a, a very hot piece of aluminum, so it's very fluid. And it's being rammed into the press through a die, and out is coming the profile shape. Those are those curved pieces that are laying there are pieces of extrusion that have come out, and the curve they have to them is just from the manufacturing, and they're pulled straight. They're lined up and cut to length. And then they're painted or finished. This is an important part. This is options that architects have. You can either specify the storefront glazing as having a painted finish to it or what's called an anodized. So in painting, you have color options. They're baked on. In anodizing, it's a chemical, electrochemical process that creates a very hard protective surface on the aluminum. And you have color choices there. Once that frame of the window is constructed, it is then um, has secondary fabrication to it where it's cut, has holes drilled in it, all to prepare it for making final window assemblies.